So Q40 is the next generation of satellite navigation receiver that we are currently developing. It's under a contract to the UK's Ministry of Defence, but with uh, some additional investment from Kinetic to add some capabilities and some features that will take it to a global set of markets. Really, the challenges are all about uh, assurance in contested environments where jamming, for example, or spoofing is applied by adversaries. Uh, also, very um, the challenges of high dynamic environments, so high levels of vibration, high G turning, uh, very high temperature ranges, much like today. Um, so, all of these have been the, the design parameters that we've had to uh, apply to the development of Q40 to make it right at the leading edge of what assured PNT capability looks like. The $10 and much cheaper uh, satellite receivers that you would find in a phone, in a car, in other devices that um, are being used for location purposes uh, are fantastic at what they do but they won't handle high G, high vibration, high temperature uh, change environments, and they're very easily jammable or spoofable. So in, in a, a defense or in a, a high reliability context or application, um, we need to spend quite a bit more money to develop the capability, which is what we have done with Q40, to be resilient, to be robust in those difficult environments. Again, looking at all four of the major uh, navigation satellite networks all at once just allows us to add some robustness, some extra assurance to our navigation capability. So if one satellite is unavailable or one satellite network is unavailable or one satellite network is being jammed in some way, uh, we're able to look at every possible satellite in the sky and use that for timing and for navigation purposes. Key applications that we're looking at, um, weapons, so particularly missiles, guided munitions, um, which are you know, particularly in use uh, across the world at the moment, uh, but also for any kind of communication or situational awareness device that's being deployed, particularly again in vehicles and man-carried uh, around the world. Q40 is designed very much with a defense uh, set of applications and customers in mind. And we're selling to all of the major uh, systems developers and systems integrators for radios, for, as I said, for weapons, for vehicle uh, carried equipment. Uh, but it's equally applicable in more commercial environments where there's a very high assurance requirement. So if you can imagine what it might be like to be without uh, any kind of satellite navigation or communication synchronization uh, in other contexts. If you can afford to live without navigation, you don't need to uh, pay the, the premium that a Q40 uh, product comes at. But if you absolutely have to have your autonomous vehicles continue to operate or your autonomous equipment continue to operate and know where it is and be able to control it and communicate with it, then that's where that capability is uh, particularly valuable. The origins of it, uh, we've, we are replacing a product uh, that we call Q20, which is actually very many years old now, it's at the end of its life. Uh, and in parallel with looking at what that replacement might be, the, the UK's Ministry of Defence uh, came to us with a number of additional requirements for several of their programmes. So it's about replacing the Q20 product, it's about fulfilling a very broad range of uh, Ministry of Defence. Uh, applications and requirements and some additional investment we're putting into it to create a platform from which we will develop a much uh, longer and more diverse roadmap of future products. Spoofing is basically about confusing a device as to where it is and this is particularly important if you imagine in a defense environment if you can confuse your adversary as to where their people are, where their equipment is, where you are. Um, incredibly uh, useful tactical advantage. It's also something that um, is relevant in a, a commercial context. So again, if you wanted to disrupt commercial activities in an economy, a great way to do it would be through spoofing. So if you remember a couple of years ago, we had a uh, 
uh, an oil tanker that went astray uh, in the Gulf, uh, and that was essentially spoofing that led it off course and into waters that it shouldn't have been in, where they absolutely believed they were in the waters that they should have been in. If you think about where we send our uh, military uh, vessels uh, into down the edge of uh, areas that will be contested, will be tense, will be politically difficult, um, if our adversaries could fool that ship into thinking it's where it should be when actually it's 10, 20 miles away, that can be really problematic uh, from a, a, a political perspective uh, and also from a, a defensive and military perspective. Thank you.